nennt sich The Punk. Herzlich willkommen, Johnny Haynes! Johnny Haynes trifft auf einen jungen und äh, wirklich richtig guten Spieler aus den Niederlanden. 22 Jahre ist er alt, zurzeit die 35 bereits in der Welt. Und er hat in diesem Jahr nicht nur auf der PDC Develop Tour einen Erfolg erfeiern können, also diese Nachwuchsliga sozusagen für die jüngeren Spieler. Er stand zudem auch im Finale von Riesa bei den International Darts Open vor wenigen Wochen. Der ist also in einer richtig guten Verfassung. Herzlich willkommen, Big Ben Benito van der Paas. He's Benito van der Paas, baby. And that's Johnny Haynes there. You can tell them apart, they look different. This will not hang around. We've had two of the more ponderous players on this afternoon in Justin Pipe and Brendan Dolan. Terry Jenkins got a bit of a wriggle on against John Henderson. And I think even if this goes 10, 11 legs, it is going to be pretty rapid fire stuff. Big Ben, Bonito van der Pass, the beaten finalist in Risa just a couple of weeks ago. Taking on Johnny Haynes, a man who is looking to make it through to the final day of action on the European Tour. Oh, for the first time in a long time, Dan Dawson in the commentary box for this one, Rob Malarkey alongside. Yeah, looking forward to this one. It looks on paper as though it should be a fairly routine, uh, well, 25 minutes or so for Benito van der Pass if it lasts uh, that long. But let's not do uh, Haynes at his service. Already has uh, one win under his belt this weekend, of course. Beat Christian Serta by six legs to four, but this is a very, very different proposition for the 50-year-old from Swindon. As you say, Van der Pass, a finalist in Riesa three weeks ago. Uh, but apart from that, it's been fairly hit and miss for uh, Van der Pass. A man elevated into the top 16 as a result of the withdrawal of Gary Anderson. I say elevated into the top 16, made one of the top 16 seeds the unfortunate thing as far as van der pass is concerned that should he win this he could well face michael van gerwin in the next round tomorrow assuming he beats jamie lewis but away from Riza, yeah he had a, a second round defeat in munich lost to uh, james wade 6-0 uh, second round exit as well in gibraltar at the hands of simon whitlock but it all came together in eastern germany three weeks ago Haynes has his work cut out here. Van der Pass with the advantage of throwing first as well. It was on the European Tour that Benito really kind of announced himself in Gibraltar and he beat Michael Van Gerwen. It was only James Wade who beat him and even then he pushed him very, very close. He was throwing ton plus averages all the way through the weekend was Benito. And there were people saying, oh, this lad's going to be the next big thing. He had a little bit of a quiet spell. But then the World Championships, he really kicked in. A run to the last 16. Beat Paul Nicholson and Dave Chisnell before losing out to Robert Thornton. And he's going from strength to strength. The final in Risa, obviously, that was followed up by three finals in a single weekend on the Johnny development Rick tour. He won one of them. That's five grand he's won in that weekend pretty much he wouldn't have been allowed to play in them if he'd won Risa because he'd have been elevated into the top 32 in the world and you're not allowed to play the development so it's actually worked out all right for him it has working out quite nicely for Haynes here as well he's uh, on a finish for an early break he broke Christian Serta in the first leg of their match yesterday although it took him 21 darts only taking him 13 darts this time around and Haynes is off the mark so comparisons with his win yesterday he followed up by the way that uh, opening leg against Serta with a 106 checkout to go 2-0 up and from that moment on he never really looked back it was a 6-4 win in the end it effectively went with throw from that moment on yeah he was good when it came down he got finishes around about 100 he was yeah. very effective he had that 106 he had a 96 he had a one bang on 100 so look he was he was pretty deadly once he got down to that sort of number so an early concern for van der pass and his followers plenty of them here as well 
they've pitched awkwardly, so he heads to treble 17 instead. Just a raise of the eyebrows there from Van der Pass in that last visit. Yeah, Haynes going about his business very nicely at the moment. Down to 140 after nine darts. Again, it's pitched downwards. So he heads to 19s instead. And Van der Pass still not on a finish. Haynes, however, is. Well, he's not now. Well, that should mean he gets at least one dart for a 2 0 lead. 96. Johnny requires 62. Well, let's see which uh, route he goes. Well, well it's trouble for a ball, maybe. <laughs> oh, no, he's playing it safe. He has uh, room for manoeuvre here. Well, room for manoeuvre to an extent. And he's, only requires 78. And he's, only a, he's only ever guaranteed one dart at a double. He got that in the end anyway, so... Benito now looking at tops himself. Oh, not far Johnny away. So Johnny Haynes for an early 2 0 advantage. And that's exactly what he has. A mirror image of his match yesterday. Early break, backs it up with a hold of his own throat. And Benito 2 0 down. Yeah, Michael Van Gerwen or Jamie Lewis awaits the winner of this one. MVG and Lewis will square 16. off in the fourth game of this evening's session. Big names everywhere you look in the evening. Hybrex, Wade, Nine, Smith, six. Van Gerwen, Chisnell, Whitlock, Peter Wright. Peter Wright, the defending champion here, of course. Yeah, I've just been for a, a walk around the arena during the last match between Eight. Dolan and Walsh, and there's a real buzz about the place, even outside the seating area big big crowd expected early. not a seat to be had later on this evening weaker leg this one from Johnny Hainsey 26 upturned palms not quite sure what's gone wrong after a, a decent couple of opening legs from him yeah nine darts to score 167 131. Van der Pass, on the other hand, is just stepping up his tempo. 41. Mm, 26 followed by a 41 as well. It's not happening for Haynes in this leg. I think he wants to put this one to bed and forget all about it. It's on the Van der Pass throw, 49. so no terrific damage done. If you are going to have a leg like this, Best to have it when you're not throwing first. Just checking what Benito... Right, he needs 36. Sorry, he had a scoreboard error there. Wasn't quite sure what Benito needed. He hit 49 in that last one, so... That makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Double 18 does the job for him. Well, Haynes again is uh, struggling to find troubles. 45. First Dutchman we've seen in action so far today, Benito Van der Pass. 83. About the only Dutchman on the way in this afternoon's session. We've got some more this evening. Dirk Van Dijvenbode, he'll be taking on James Wade. Some bloke called Van Gerwen. 26. Vincent van der Voort, Jelle Klaassen, standout performer of the opening round, Jelle Klaassen. I said it before, he's going against Dave Chisholm. Could be an absolute belter. This one could turn into something a bit special, though. Benito van der Pass coming back at Johnny Haynes. Trail 2-0. Now he's well-placed to break back and level the match at two apiece. 36. Well, he's gone off the boil here. No doubts about it. Nine darts to score, 95. 107. That's better remains. He's got room there to add another one. Fails to do so. Well, that'll do for Benito. 
and with Haynes back where he is and consistently failing to hit big numbers Benito can go any way he wants with this and he wanted the treble 18 for double 18 he's hit the treble 8 there yeah. yeah rather than the treble 16 but it's fine he'll come back looking at double 16 he'll be happy enough with that hmm, now then now then Johnny Haynes a bolt from the blue where did that come from Just outside. Game shot oh, just inside, I should play. say. My eyes deceive me then. Done well there, Benito, to find that with the last dart because it looked like he blocked his path a little bit, moved right over to the left hand side or the gilding position mm. uh, on the hockey. It's, they're pitching at an angle, aren't they, Benito's darts? Yeah, they do, they do kick up a bit, which, I mean, it's got its advantages in certain situations, makes it a bigger target to aim for, but there are other times, particularly when you're going for those ones down the bottom of the board, it can make things a little bit tricky. That's lovely, though. It's no surprise he followed up with at least one. And Van der Pass has got the advantage back. Why don't we? Well, it's taken Van der Pass a while to get going, or a couple of legs to get going, but he's certainly found his range and his rhythm now. And he's in a very healthy position here in leg five as well for a 3 2 lead, having been 2 0 down. Yeah, needing another treble there, Johnny Haynes to apply any real pressure. Benito looking at 81, and he is going to go the 12 ball route. Just have a look at Johnny Haynes. I don't think, I don't think, well, maybe he is, you know. He's saying, Johnny Haynes, I don't think you're going to take this out. It's a safe bet. But will it come back to bite him? No. I love a decline oh. full room when it gets rammed back down their throat. Love it. Not to be in this position, no. Bonito van der Pats takes a 3-2 lead from 2-0 down. Yeah, he's in a good place now. Three on the spin for the Dutchman. Haynes needs to put an end to this sequence. Fell it up, Benito. That's his first of the match. He's punishing him now, really is punishing him. Yet to see the nine dots on the European Tour this year. Didn't see one last year either. Saw one the year before when Ross Smith hit one in Gibraltar. Roby John Rodriguez was on it this weekend. Back to back 180s, but couldn't complete the job on 141. 53. And despite kicking off 180 in this leg, Johnny Haynes is down to a finish first. Yeah, big score here for Van der Pass will make things just a little bit testing for Haynes on 108. 81. Well, we said earlier that it was around this mark that Johnny Haynes was very good in his yeah. first round win against Christian Serta. It's still possible. Needed that treble 18 for a shot at the bullseye. But he set it up after a fashion. Now, is it 26 he wants? Johnny require 26. Well, it is. Dangerous one, double 13. Because he could halve this. Game but he hasn't. He takes it out at the third time of asking. And we are level once again at three apiece. And uh, Haynes there just 
underlining the fact that it's effectively back on throw now. And he's not out of this by any stretch of the imagination. Needs just to get another stronger foothold here. And he's certainly doing that with a 140 to start things off in leg seven. Nothing separating them at the moment. This time it's Van der Pass's turn to be under pressure. 81. Nets in you to go toe to toe here, yeah. yeah. Neck and neck in this, and here comes Benito, but. Well, I don't know, 40. It's good, but it's a big finish. Mm, now then. Well, I don't know, Can't separate 40, them. Benito. Cannot well, separate them. Two on forties each, and 81 each. But maybe a chance here for Haynes to steal a march on Van der Pass. And he has slightly. Van der Pass, though, in a good position here. Double ten for a 4 3 lead. Double five can be awkward. And he's a long way off there as well. So Johnny Haynes for another break, a second break of throw in this match against the number 16 seed, and he takes it. And Haynes gets his nose back in front once again. He leads by four legs to three. Oh, well, well, Johnny Haynes. He won the first two legs, then Benito kind of went on a bit of a charge as Haynes' form dipped. But he's coming back at the... 22 year old just a reminder this is the man who went all the way to the final in Risa in the last European Tour event beating the likes of Michael Van Gerwen Justin Pike Kim Hybrex but the punk is the man with the advantage right now Benito has to find a little bit more than that Get him under some more pressure. Sixty-two. Oh, he's One frustrated with that. There. Yeah, he's frustrated with that, Haynes. Ninety-six. So Van der Pass with a slight advantage. Another one of those will do nicely. 84. Not to be, but he's well. Still got work to do. Forty-three. Well, he's left Johnny himself a big one. Johnny Haynes has got a pretty big one of his own. Fifty-nine. Well, he'll be hopeful of coming back. I'm sure he will. Barring something special here, yeah, and he will be back. Johnny require 96. Right, can Johnny Haynes hold his nerve here? 96 he wants. He can do it in two darts. There's Double one. 18. And he's done it in two darts. And Johnny Haynes, well, it's three consecutive legs for him now. And another one of those finishes round about the 100 mark. That yeah, out of 96 yesterday, didn't he? Yeah, it's basically been the the foundation of his win in the opening round against Christian Serta. Once he gets down to that target, 60. he seems to appreciate it. I and mean, he's hitting 55% of his doubles, five out of nine on them. I mean, that is very, very good. Especially up against a player of Van der Pass's calibre as well. And we could be in for a bit of an upset here. Stephen Bunting crashing out in the first round yesterday. That was a surprise against Jihan Artu. Very capable player, Jihan Artu, but he's not a former world champion like Stephen Bunting. Jihan Artu is back in action this evening against Kim Hybrex, the Belgian. We do see another Belgian on the way in the penultimate game of this afternoon's session. That's Dimitri Vandenberg against Robert Thornton. But right now, it's Johnny Haynes looking to knock out the first seed of the weekend. And that'll help. That'll help. Second maximum of the match for Haynes. And it's come at a really good time as well. 
Now another ton plus score here, and he could be in business. It's, down, it's another 100 or so finish as well. It's trickier. He's going to need all three darts to do it. Can't do it in two like the 96 last leg. But can he see this off Johnny Haynes? 86 left. Well, he goes to the 18th route, gets it. Double 16 for the match. And Johnny Haynes is 106 to knock out Benito van der Pass, the first seeded player to come or campaign to come to an end. Johnny Holmes, a 106 and a 96. Two of the checkouts here in the previous round as well. The man is hitting those targets very, very dangerously. And he is through. He's, he's his best run on the European Tour. Joint best, he's made the last 16 once before. But he will take on either Jamie Lewis or MVG. There will be no repeat of the Van der Pass michael Van Gerwen game from Risa three weeks ago. Johnny Haynes, the punk, take a bow. Johnny, congratulations. Very strong, very good. Yeah, better than yesterday. Playing better than yesterday, so carry on tomorrow now. So reaching the Sunday, it's, it's getting interesting now, you know? Yeah, is it the first time that you reached the Sunday on, on the European Tour? No, oh, so, no, 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 it's not the first time I've played there in Ola, the first time I've played in it last, last night. So, yeah, it's getting interesting now. Bring on the big boys. Michael van Gerwen could be the next one. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, you would, you would love to play him? No, yeah, I'd love to play him. He's, he, I've played him once so far, he's done me, so I'll try to get revenge. Great, thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Johnny Ains.